I wanted to make a quick video about the state of YouTube and why everybody's kind of quitting. Like, it's really crazy how uh, we have all these creators that are coming out saying that they're gonna retire uh, repeatedly. It's something that's happening over and over again. And um, I think what's really happening is the fact that the grind is just so real being a content creator. Like, it's, it's actually insane. Like. If you think about the numbers you have to do to kind of just keep the machine going, um, it's, it's, it's crazy. The machine being the algorithm. So in order to constantly move forward in your career as a content creator, um, you kind of have to get to a place where you can do your job, essentially, <laughs> which is make content. You, you got to get to a place where you can do that consistently and over a long period of time in order to kind of make it viable. Uh, in order to be a successful content creator, uh, at least a financially successful content creator, you need um, an audience. And in order to build an audience, you need the content. And in order to get there, you need to post. <laughs> you kind of have to be in this place where you're like constantly posting, you're constantly doing things. And it's crazy and it's exhausting. So a lot of people are actually quitting YouTube right now um, because they're tired. Which is weird for me for somebody who is um, at the level where I am. Um, by no means do I have financial stability off of YouTube or financial success. But um, at the same time, I'm just kind of like looking at these guys who are at the top. And it kind of makes you wonder, like, why do you keep doing it? You know, like, um, it's, it's, it's kind of weird to me to to see somebody just grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding on uh, on something like that. And they've already kind of gotten to a point of being successful. They've already quote unquote made it. So it's kind of like at that point, what what is it that drives you to go further? Especially when um, some of the channels that are out there, these people are like talking, they're like commentary or they're like, um, news or their people that talk about like all types of stuff and for the most part they're just talking I mean I'm not saying that the job is easy because it's just talking um, I kind of saying that the job is where it is um, it has its own level of difficulty because you have to write the scripts and you have to kind of do all this different stuff to kind of make it make sense or to kind of make it more to be successful and it's kind of like you're chasing you're chasing this thing that you're possibly never even gonna get the thing of that being um, I guess more and more success like I feel like some of these guys get into the game for reasons that they're probably not clear of they probably say, hey, this looks like a cool thing that could be a cool job. So let me kind of hop in there and see kind of what I can do to become successful at it. Um, and I think not having a defining end goal is probably what leads to burnout. Like for me, for example, I've been on the platform for about 10 years now. And in no way, shape or form <laughs> do I have the, the level of financial success that some of these guys have off of doing you know YouTube for as long as they have, they've been doing it but at the same time though um, it's because I've been in a position where um, I was grinding all the time I was posting regularly I was doing a lot of different stuff to try to get to a point of uh, to try to get to a point of success and whether that's that I wanted to be successful to the point where I could take care of me myself and my family off of YouTube uh, granted, I've never got there to that level of success, um, but at the same time, I got tired, man. I got tired of, of doing it. I got tired of chasing it. I got tired of uploading, and, you know, it's up to a point now where I'm actively starting to get kind of back into it, but at the same time, it's not something I want to do to the point where I'm tired like I used to be, or tired like some of these guys are. Like, I'm, I'm the type of person that kind of learns from other people's mistakes. And to see these people grinding the way they do uh, up to a point where they haven't felt 
like rested. Like it's insane to me <laughs> that you you're constantly doing what you do with these insane schedules, insane insane upload schedules, and the things that you're trying to reach, and like you're financially well off. And so at this point, it's like, bro, if you want a break, just take one. Like that, that's <laughs> that's what's weird, you know. If you want a break, just take one. And um, you know, I never want to be in a position where I feel like I can't take a break. Like even even the the stuff I do now, like if I'm actively tired, I'm actively feeling like um, like like the grind gets too much. Unless I'm pushing for something like like if I'm, unless I'm pushing for something that's like a new level or a new personal best or a new something, like I'm not the type of person to continue to just stress myself out. Like that's just not me. And so, and I don't want it to be me. I never want to get to a point where, you know, the grind is so real where I'm exhausted and I have, you know, no other life outside of it. Now, that being said, you know, right now, currently, I'm, I do a lot of stuff. But I do a lot of stuff that I enjoy. Now, whether or not those things are deemed to be successful or not, you know, who's to say? But, like, <laughs> but for the most part, uh, I plan on hopping back into this YouTube thing and trying to get to a place where I feel comfortable with it. Um, somewhere where it doesn't feel like I'm back in the ground of, of old, like I used to be back in the day. Definitely not trying to be like that, but um, it is something that I, I'm trying to get back into. You know, it's something that I really want to revisit, you know, to try to see um, if I can do it, you know? And so right now the channel, of what I'm posting and what I'm attempting to do is going to be focused heavily on um, my commentary on certain current events, uh, filmmaking, uh, projects that I'm working on. Like currently, like my projects that I work on are feature films. It's not really something I can actively share on YouTube, you know, <laughs> because it's a whole movie and I have to wait for the whole movie to actually be finished. Like granted, this is, I'm on my second movie, so I have finished the first movie. But, um, and you know, I, I should upload that at some point, but you know, I'm actively working on it and trying to figure out what I want to do, how, how I want to release it, whether that be a release party or whatever, you know, I'm still in the aspects of trying to figure that out. But um, I don't know, I think where things are going for me is, um, is, for me, I have to find a format that works. And I think the format that works for me right now currently is kind of what I'm experimenting with right now. I'm just gonna have the camera with me and I'm gonna shoot whatever I can and um, and figure that out along the way. Like, I'm just trying to shoot just my thoughts and commentary wherever I'm at, whenever I'm at. And um, hopefully that brings me to a place of being able to do it easily. I will say one thing that I'm very skilled at um, over the years is um, getting to a point where I'm, it's easy for me to just talk easy for me to just talk to the camera so commentary will just come easily for me and so um like even right now like i'm doing this video while actively like working on something on the computer but anywho i just think it's weird that a lot of the youtubers are as tired as they are without um without the need to grind as hard as they're grinding and maybe maybe you get lost in the sauce i don't know like maybe it's to a point where it's kind of like they've been doing it for so long it's like habitual and so all they know is to keep going until one day they've been doing it for so long they wake up and they're like bro i just need a rest <laughs> it was really interesting to me is watching filmmakers who have filmmaking channels who constantly just do gear reviews and things of that nature where they're so busy working on the algorithm that they don't they're not actually filmmakers anymore like they're so busy like hitting the algorithm with rhythm with content that moves the needle forward that they haven't even made a movie, you know? And it's, they've taken like year breaks off of making movies because they've just been so busy hitting the hammer on the algorithm. It's like, you gotta grind, you gotta grind, you gotta grind. And um, I don't wanna end up like that, man. Like I watch 
And, you know, I think that's one benefit of watching other people do things is so you can learn from their mistakes. And I don't want to see myself grinding the algorithm day in and day out, hoping to get just a little notch forward. You know, and my value of myself is not based on how many people see my content or how many people see my work or how many people watch the video or how many likes I get, you know. Like financially, you know, yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> Building the audience and things like that. So, I don't know. You know, this is me just testing out to see if I can kind of make it work again, you know? Like, I've, I'm willing to hop back in that YouTube ground and see if I can make it function the way I like it to. So, who knows? We'll see how this goes. It's your boy Nitro High Fire here. Uh, are you a content creator? Are you tired of the grind? Let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe we can talk about it. Peace.